Yo, what is up, guys? This is Unknown Jedi, and today we are going to be talking about what if Qui Gon survived. So basically, um, there's quite a few events that this would cause. Uh, when well, I say quite a few, it pretty much affect the whole Star Wars um, saga, basically. But um, yeah, so let's just get into this. Dooku probably wouldn't have turned Sith and maybe have formed a Grey Jedi Order with Qui-Gon and Anakin as Qui-Gon's Padawan. So, basically, Dooku, his last reason for leave, leaving the Jedi Order was the death of Qui-Gon Jinn. So, he wouldn't have had that last straw and he wouldn't have had to fall back into Darth Sidious if he had the help of um, Qui-Gon Jinn who also saw the corruptions in the Republic and stuff like that as well as Dooku um, and Dooku had nowhere to go because he didn't have anyone close enough to him to join to create a new grey Jedi order who believed in what he believed in basically because he was friends with Mace Windu but he only really saw the light even though he did use the form Vapad which included the dark but yeah that's a, another video for the, another day um, and Yoda he was fully light side all day pretty much so yeah um, I think Sidious would have been found out eventually um, as there was no Anakin to like sort of hooker up to and reveal himself to um, as it was his own fault that he got revealed because he literally told Anakin that he was a Sith Lord and if that didn't happen then he could have stayed on for it for ages but Mas Master Windu was starting to realize that the dark side was around that surrounded Chancellor Palpatine so I think um, in the next few years if Palpatine hadn't revealed himself I think Windu would have took it into his own hands to arrest or even kill Palpatine and yeah so also that that would probably have mean Windu wouldn't have died as there was no Anakin to in the way of him basically and I think because Anakin seriously lacked respect for Obi-Wan as we could see from pretty much anything and in the Clone Wars micro series Anakin says to Obi-Wan you're no Qui-Gon Jinn and that just shows how much respect he had for Qui-Gon Jinn and how much discipline he would have put into Qui-Gon's teachings and I think Qui-Gon would have helped Anakin with his issues and it it would stop him becoming Darth Vader which would also lead into Padme not dying Order 66 probably wouldn't have happened but if it did then it wouldn't have been that successful because there wouldn't have been um, Vader or Anakin to, to wipe out the remaining Jedi. My last point was Anakin would not have turned to the dark side because his darkness would have probably come out in Qui-Gon's teachings because Qui-Gon didn't always agree with the Jedi Order. He believed in passion and and family and stuff like that. He, he didn't agree with the I'd say tightness 
of the Jedi Order. Um, in a way, he was a grey Jedi. And, yeah. So, Qui-Gon was arguably the most important character in, St in the Star Wars saga. If Qui-Gon never died, we would not have seen the original trilogy the way it was.